Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. It's a warm but windy day in December and we're lake trout fishing on Lake Michigan. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. How do you go? Oh awesome. my God. Well, what a difference a week makes. Last week, Dion, we were up in Ely, Minnesota. Yeah. It was eight below zero. Now, today is December the 14th, and uh, we're on Lake Michigan off in of Milwaukee chasing some lake trout, but tell the folks what the temperature is. Right now, we're probably looking at around 40 degrees. And it's supposed to get up to 50 today, Blake. And you don't like this southeast wind? No, these waves <laughs> are freaking me out. I think we should get out a little. No, we're no. fine. But let's talk a little bit about, you know, December fishing out here off of Lake Mich, off of Milwaukee, mm -hmm. off of Chicago, off of Racine. Pretty good lake trout fishing, huh? Yeah, very good lake trout fishing. The numbers of the lake trout population have been going through the roof. They actually, they upped our limit. It used to be two a couple of years ago, and now you can catch five lake trout a day. And uh, fishing's been great. Well, we'll catch something, folks. We'll show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. Len Groom from Amsoil here, and we're talking about trailer bearings. One of the most neglected pieces on that trailer are the bearings. People just don't think about them, especially with a boat trailer where it's going in and out of the water, even an ATV, UTV trailer, or a snowmobile trailer that's going down the highway in the water in adverse conditions. You always want to make sure you check those bearings and apply some grease when you can. You definitely want to check them seasonally. Amsoil's water-resistant grease is a perfect choice for your trailers. For more information on any of our greases, check out amsoil.com. Hey folks, all my fishing buddies really love the new lightweight Jiffy Torch. Yeah, John, what I love about the Torch is I can connect it to a drill for super lightweight, or I can connect it to an electric powerhead if I'm gonna go pound a ton of holes in one day. This is a hex steel construction shaft, super durable, super lightweight, and it's gonna last year over year. When they added the ripper cutting blades to the Torch, that really finished it off. They're super reliable, been around for a long time, and they always stay sharp. For more information on these revolutionary new products, go to JiffyOnIce.com. Hey, welcome back, folks. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're on Lake Michigan off of Milwaukee and December the 14th, and it's going to be 55 degrees today. It's a beautiful day. Now, we're jigging lake trout, uh, and I'll tell you what, uh, you really like the Castmaster. Yep, the Castmaster is one of my favorites because it's super easy to use. You just make sure it hits bottom, rip it up, back on the bottom. It's super easy. Yeah, and I'll start out, too, with a jerk minnow, and I like that pearl color for the Great yes. Lakes because it mimics like a smelt or an alewife. Okay. So, and I'll tell you what, Dion, we got some pretty darn good waves today and, and an east wind, but what type of water do you look for to fish these lake trout? How deep? Uh, we like fishing for the lake trout Well, we fish right along the bottom for them. They're definitely a bottom feeding fish, but uh, in the gaps here, it's anywhere from 20 to 30 feet, so makes it a lot of fun catching these fish in the little bit deeper water. And you actually like big waves. Yeah, I, I think fishing's usually pretty good in the rougher weather. Makes it a little hard to stand in the boat, a little hard to do things, but uh, yeah, fishing's usually pretty good in the rough weather. I don't know what I got, but... It... Wait, what do you got there, Blake? Let's see what we got. Oh, oh gosh, look at the gosh, size of that right. perch. <laughs> Holy cow! Wow! What the, the heck? Uh, Blake, that is oh a giant, gosh. giant perch. <laughs> 
And you know, like we talked about earlier, folks, we're out here trying to catch lake trout and browns, and you caught a 14 inch perch. Holy that cow. That is the biggest perch of the year. <laughs> that is great. Now, That's so cool. <laughs> hey, Neon, come on back here, buddy. Is, is this unusual to see this kind of a perch on Lake Michigan? Absolutely. So, <laughs> seeing a jumbo perch like this, I mean, great to see. What is I it? don't know what I got on it. doesn't feel very big, though, Blake. It's certainly not a lake trout. You think it's another uh, perch? I hope it's another perch. Let's see what we got coming in here. And it is going to be, I had a, line, a lot of line out. Another, another perch! perch. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey. Oh my gosh. Neon, Dion. I don't know, buddy. We, a jerk minnow. A uh, jerk minnow. Look at that. And, you know, and, and how that now that's an eleven inch, you're right. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, but we measured Blake's and it was <laughs> And, well, sorry about that. We measured Blake's and it was 14. And, and and Dion, this is an accident finding these perch. You know, we're out here, like we said, jigging lake trout. That's right. But heck, if, if this is going to be the deal today, let's switch. We'll take whatever yeah. they're going to give us. Oh, Woo! Blake's hooked up. Grab that net, Dion. Grab yeah. that net, buddy. Oh, All right. right, Blake. Slow down. Don't go too fast, sweetie. Whoa. Oh! There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh goes, yeah. Up, oh, yeah. Ooh, I'll keep her run. coming, Blake. Keep her coming. Keep a tight light on her. All right. On that cast master, huh? Yep. Yep. And uh, I actually switched to casting. Okay. Of, oh. oh. I don't want to lose it that. Is there Drago oh. set? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to tighten your drag a little bit. Hold on, Okay, Blake. sweetie. Okay, keep her coming. Blake is right, so good at this lake trout fishing, I'll oh. tell you. I, ah! Okay, okay, Blake, keep her coming, keep her coming. This is just awesome, is. man. Here he is, here he is. Okay, and all right. Hey, come on back here with Dion. Hey, you know, you, you've been doing this Lake Michigan fishing for years with me. You, you, you love the fight, don't you? That's actually a brown trout, Blake. It is a brown. Oh, wow, interesting. Nice little silver one. Huh? That is a beautiful brown. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> How'd he fight? Crazy. Yeah, you know, I love musky fishing, but, you know, trout, brown trout, salmon, I really do like all the, these fights. Well, too. Dion, I think that that's the neat thing about coming out here with walleye gear and fighting these game fish. Absolutely. It's a special deal, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, these fish, they just got a lot of aggression to them, a lot of raw power. They make oh great God. runs, and they're a fun fish to catch, and not a lot of places you can do it at either, so. Fish okay, on. Blake is hooked up again, folks. She is the hot stick today. She missed one before. Okay, Blake. What does that look like to you, Dion? I'm thinking this one's a lake trout. Okay, Seems Blake. Take it easy. Take your time, headshots. sweetie. Take your time. Okay. Okay. Just keep pressure on them. Rod tip okay. down. Rod tip Rod down. Okay, we need this fish, there Blake. I know, Dad. Wow, look at that. Look at that rod bending Dion. Yeah, that's what that we're talking is about. Awesome. Look at her go. That's Blake Gillespie, one of the all time great lake trout fishermen <laughs> in the world. Don't say that yet. Well, you've, uh, you're the one that's getting hooked up. Dion and I stink. Yeah, we do. Holy moly, Blake. Okay, your drag's working good. Now, low, she's peeling drag on him. That is. Wow. Are we okay here, Dion? We're looking good. Okay, buddy. Just keep coming, Blake. You're doing a great, great I job. Here, okay, here he, here he comes, here he comes. Okay, there trout. he goes, there he goes. What was it? It was a big lake trout. Big lake trout, big lake trout, Blake. How you doing, Blake? I'm really scared. <laughs> don't be scared. This is fishing. This well, is I just don't want to lose him. I don't want you to either. Okay, there's... Okay, okay, there. be, be ready, be ready, be ready. Be ready, be ready. Be ready. He's gonna go another for run. another run here. Well, tell me what you're feeling there, Blake. <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling. Wow. I'll tell you what, I've caught a lot of lake trout out here, Dion. That looks pretty big. Yeah, and it's fighting like it, too. There he is. Oh, my gosh. Wow, it is a big Oh, fish. that is a slugosaurus, guys. <laughs> that is a slugosaurus. <laughs> ready? A little more, Lock Blake, a little more, Blake, a little more. And... Yeah! Hey, way to go. Oh, Woo, look Holy at this cow. Fish. Hey, Blake. Woo, wow, that was quite a fight. I'll tell you what, that fish fought you like a behemoth, didn't it? I guess, a behemoth. No, I Holy mean. Holy trout. 
Look at the size of that trout. How is that compared to the perch? Oh, a little different, I'd say so, but wow. Well, go it? stand. You like to hold them, don't you? Uh, yeah. Beautiful I guess. No, colors Dion, on them. You know, we got these big old waves today and everything else, and she did a great job fighting that fish, she didn't did. she? She did. It's hard to stand in these waves and battle like that, and she did great. And what a fish. I mean, look at the colors on them. Yeah, now, that is, fish. that is an old fish, right? Yes. Yeah, so these lake trout, they're not like the salmon, which die every four years. The lake trout, they die of old age, so they can get pretty old and they can get pretty big. Now, somebody told me a fish that size would be about 20 years old. Yeah, I mean, anywhere from this one like this, she's probably looking at 12 to 20 years old, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, those waves are rolling, and again, that spot lock holding us in place. But Blake's been getting those fish vertical jigging. So you need to use a bait that's heavy enough to keep bottom contact. That's right, and a lot of times you see a lot of current out here, and it'll change every few minutes. It'll be coming in, and then it'll be pushing out. So days worth heavy current, you definitely want to get a bigger bait on so you can stay more vertical. And uh, we're just hitting the bottom, and you're giving it a, just a one or two foot pop up off the bottom. The lake trout, they're usually pretty close to the bottom. And then you let it get back down there, and you just do it again. Great Christmas gift idea, folks. It's the new Blackfish Base Layer. It's available at Fleet Farm, and Ryan Erdman, our photographer, says it's the best. One of the most important and often overlooked things about staying warm in cold conditions is staying dry. For those of us that enjoy the outdoors during the winter months, whether it be fishing, hunting, snowmobiling, or just about anything else, you know you will sweat and you absolutely do not want a cotton garment next to your skin. Drilling a ton of holes in the ice, tracking a deer through the woods, or just shoveling snow, you really need to wear a good base layer, like the Blackfish NTS and Microflex systems. Base layer systems will help regulate your body temperature by maintaining moisture levels near the skin and can help provide warmth. The NTS system is meant to be worn next to your skin so the body can stay dry, breathe, and stay warm. For the really cold days, the Microflex mid-layer is designed to be worn over the NTS layer as a mid-weight thermal, which provides comfort and warmth. Both the NTS and Microflex systems are available right now at Fleet Farm and FleetFarm.com. We were fishing Lake Michigan out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a zero-hour drive from Milwaukee, one and a half hours from Chicago, and four and a half hours from Minneapolis. If you want to know how the best anglers always seem to find fish, stay on fish, and be in the right place at the right time, don't ask them. Just look at the name on the side of their boat. The one that's built 10 million motors, shallow water anchors, and more. No angler's gonna tell you their secrets, but they don't have to, because you already know. Minn Kota, fish for more. Well, we had to go down a very dirty, dirty road today, and our boat got a bunch of sand, salt, and mud all over it, and that can cause permanent damage to our boat. But you have a solution. We do have the solution. It's called the AquaJet Johnson Pump Washdown System, and it is the strongest PSI washdown in the industry. Without having to haul any power washers down, any hoses hook up, you're using the lake water, filtering the lake water, leaving your boat completely sparkling clean. Wow, I can't wait to get Johnson pumped. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice bass! <laughs> Sound bullet! Let's pull that yeah. up. There you go. Oh my gosh! The living some bullets. This has got a little more weight. Oh, oh look at that! There you go. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah. See? Oh, All right, nice. Blake, look at that! Hey, Blake, take a look at that big freighter that's coming right now. That is a big boat. Wow. And we're going to have to move out of the way. He's got right away in these gaps. But, Dion, the one question I wanted to ask you, buddy, you've been a, on a charter boat all your life. You see these big ships. How, today's December the 14th. How long will they run into the wintertime? They'll run for a couple more months here going until uh, the harbors get locked up with ice and ice farms and they can't go anymore. Fish De on deck! Dion, what is wrong with us? I don't know. We you must have uh... Blake is the only one that can catch it. This looks like it might be a brown. Whatever. It's a I, fish. Yeah. No, I don't know yet. All right, Blakey. 
And You're doing a great job oh, today, no, Blake. Not. Oh, I don't know. What are you thinking, Dion? I'm thinking it might be a brown. Come down yeah. and get the net. Yeah, come on, Dion. You know, that's your job, dude. Yeah, oh, look at battling you pretty good. A little bit of time here. Okay, Blake. Uh, now, can you tell the difference in the, what do we got? Here it is. It, what do we got? Lake trout. Go ahead and walk back. Another Laker. Woo! All right. Now, you run a charter boat all the time with Captain Al down in Kenosha. Yes. Is there ever a time where one person it catches all the fish? Not on the big boat when you're trolling. Yeah. But, <laughs> but no, that's that. If you're going to eat a lake trout, folks. This would be a good eater. Nice would, and small and very, very healthy looking fish. They still fight no matter Oh, the no, size. that was awesome, Blake. Yeah. And are you, you, you know, yeah, we showed out here. What, 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 what are you doing, really? Um, I'm. Sometimes I'm casting like halfway. Um, we're right by the wall right now. Right. So I'm casting halfway towards the wall and letting it go to the bottom and doing a, kind of a long, steady sweep, not a fast one. She's kicking our butts, She's Doing dude. something. <laughs> and when you're jigging like this, certain days, some people do just have the hot hand. It looks just right in the water, yeah. and the fish like it for well, some You know reason. what I'm going to do? I'm going to watch her, her, watch her, her next cast closely. and see if we can pull it off. Walk Absolutely. up to the camera and show how that... Now, if folks are going to eat a lake trout, they're actually best smoked? Yeah, so lake trout are a little more greasier than uh, the salmon would be, so they make a really nice smoked fish. Uh, hey, got to tell the folks now, your first name is, is Dion, your last name is Perry, yes. and what is your given middle name? My middle name officially is Walleye. <laughs> no. Dion Walleye Perry. That's what your dad named you? Yeah. Smart man, huh? <laughs> Why did he name you Dion Walleye Perry? Walleye was his favorite favorite fish to catch, so he named his son after well, it. Well, should we call you Neon, Dion, or Walleye? Whatever you guys would like. I go by both. Oh, look at that, Blake. I got one yeah, on, Blake. Did. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Oh, I'm in my fighting chair back here <laughs> with the big old waves going by. But look at that. Look at that. I love the bend in the rod. I, I, I'll tell you what, you know, living in Milwaukee is pretty cool, isn't it, when you can come out and do this? It's right in right? our backyard. Come right? on, get up in there and visit with me. Come okay. on. <laughs> oh, ooh. All right. Look at that battle, and he guys. Put the same color cast master on. Well, his name, huh? I'm not going to sit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at Don't that. Loser. No, I won't keep her away. From, whoa, look at that. Look at that, you guys. Look. Woo! Oh, my gosh. She's fighting. Oh, you. my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> They're strong fighting fish. Aren't oh, they? are you kidding me? They just they want to dig and they want to go wow. back. Oh, yeah. Down. See it. Oh, yeah. Get that clamor ready. Get. Whoa. And Good you got, job, Dad. Yeah, oh, look at that. Good thing that. you got that Seaguar leader material. I'll tell you what, we're going to talk about that here in a second if I get this guy in. Look at him go. Oh, oh that's a nice look at fish. that. Look at how clean and looking that. Oh, Woo! yeah. Nicely done, Dad. I thought I was going to be the only one today. <laughs> hey, Neon Dion, Neon Walleye Perry, you're putting, come on back here with us if you would. You're putting us on some beautiful fish, buddy. Absolutely. These and, fish uh, are beautiful. Here, let me move this rod a little okay. bit so you can get in the pick. There we go. Now, look at how clean this one looks. Yeah, this one, you can see like that first fish we caught had a lot of color. It was real dark. And then the last couple we've caught have been very kind of silver and clean looking fish. Well, isn't that pretty? And you know what's really kind of interesting, folks? You know, we kind of noticed before that first fish that Blake caught was milking, and that means they're still spawning in the middle of December? Yeah, that is very surprising. Normally, they're spawning around uh, November and October, but uh, to see them still doing that in December, it was That's a, good sign, a little right? surprising. Yeah, well, that means there's a lot more fish around in. here. But the other thing I want to mention, folks, before we release that fish, and she'll release fine, is uh, here today is December the 4th. 14th, and you can literally come out and do this if you can get a boat out here all winter long, right? All winter long, yep. Lake Trout and Browns will be in the harbor all winter. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. Save $30 on the Markham M1 Flasher system on sale for $249.99. 
Who doesn't love a bowl of hot chili during the winter holidays? So I decided to get a simple recipe online, but I wanted to make it 10 times better with the Johnsonville Mild Italian Ground Sausage. You can add this to any of your favorite recipes as well. All you have to do is add equal parts of your Johnsonville ground sausage and your ground beef. Ooh, does that smell good. I can't wait to try it. Wow, that is so good. That Johnsonville really made my chili so much better. Johnsonville Italian ground sausage. Find it at your favorite retailer today. Now we we're talking, you know, we're off of Milwaukee today, but there's fishing opportunities. You actually live in Kenosha. There's fishing opportunities from Chicago all the way up in the wintertime. Yeah, so uh, all the harbors in the wintertime usually get filled with browns and steelhead will come into the harbors. And guys, they actually enjoy a lot of ice fishing for the browns and the steelhead in Kenosha and Racine all the way up to Milwaukee. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Neon, 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 catch a fish. <laughs> Finally hooked all into right. one. Way to go there, buddy. All right. Ooh, here he comes, here he comes. Ooh, they look like torpedoes. They look like torpedoes. Yay! Oh, Blake, good go. job, Blake. Don't fall in the water now. Hold on to hold on to Blake. Hold on to Blake. Need help? All right. Yeah. Hey. Right. Ne <laughs> hey. Neon, Dion. Hold on to Blake. Hold on to the net. Hold on to your lake trout. Absolutely. Oh, now what we're doing here, folks, is sitting in the corner of the gap and uh, what you're seeing right now, these waves coming across and there's a lot of current here and those fish will sit just outside that current and look for bait fish Absolutely. going by. Absolutely, they'll ambush them right on the corners, they'll sit in the rocks and the bait fish come by with the current moving in and out and they just take a swipe at them. Oh my gosh, that's two in a row, two in a row. Two Oh, we might have a little bit of a pattern going on here. Well, that's five minutes after that last one, right? Yeah, this was pretty much back to back. This one, I was actually just about to bring my line up and start reeling in. Now, oh, you're keeping bottom ocean. contact all the time, though, with that bait. Yeah, so I'm keeping it real tight to the bottom, and I'm giving it very small, just like little six-inch pops, just enough to get that blade going and vibrating a little bit. Look at that fight. Absolutely. Look at that rod. Now you've caught a lot of fish on the Great Lakes in your lifetime. Do you ever get sick of this, buddy? Never. It's just, it's not like any other kind of inland fishing you can do. Just these fish got a different kind of raw power to them and they're so much fun. Oh, there's another torpedo and the six foot wave. Oh, good Hold on to Blake, hold on to Blake. Nice job there, Blake, with the old clam rooney there. That was perfect timing. Nice job. Yeah, two of them right there in like five minutes and maybe they're turning on here. We got nice overcast conditions today and fish love that and uh, they seem to be getting hot. And again, we're fishing in about 30, 35 feet of water. Yeah, right now we're in, uh, I think, 35 feet of water. So it's a lot of fun to catch them in this deeper water. They really like to just really dig, give you big head shakes. And You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to call your dad and have him change your middle name from Walleye to Lake Trout. Lake Trout. <laughs> then you would be on, be Neon Dion Lake Trout Perry. <laughs> that sounds good. Nice we'll fish. Let's see what he thinks. Nice fish, buddy. Beautiful Thank job. You. Thank you. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2021 Fishing Contest. Calvin Bailey of Racine caught this 48-inch tiger muskie on Namakagan on a bucktail. Ryan DeLacy of Homer Glen, Illinois caught this 23-inch smallmouth on Lake Couturet on a sucker. Ross Elk of Roselle, Illinois caught this 52-inch muskie on Eagle Lake on a spoon. Cal Lagaki of Waterford caught this 47-inch northern on Little Bay to Knock on a Thunderstick. And this week's kids winners are Jake Sarbacker of Bell View caught this 48 inch northern on Sugar River on a crankbait, and Brandon Nawago of Wisconsin Rapids caught this 46 inch muskie on Lake Namakagan on a Medusa. Each week, I shop online at fleetfarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, save $10 on the Frable Magnum Bait Station on sale for $59.99 and 25% off select Ice Armor Ice Fishing Apparel and Accessories on sale starting at $8.99. You are a 
<laughs> See. Oh man, I got a little luck of hand here. Well, you got to tell the folks, were we teasing you a little bit? Yeah, a little bit earlier, which was well deserved. I just could not catch a fish to save my life. Whoa, whoa, you all right? You got him, you got him. I got yeah, him. Hold on to Blake. I got him. All right, Blake. <laughs> easy in these big old waves. No, it is not. Nothing is easy in these <laughs> waves. Nice job there, Blake. Well, we won't tease you anymore because you have the lead now. Oh, boy. That's good. And we've only been fishing, what, five hours, four or five hours? Yeah, I yeah. thought so. Folks, I'll tell you what, if you're going to come out here in the winter time, be safe and really watch the wind conditions. You know, we're in this big campion, so we're okay. But uh, really, the direction of the wind, if you're fishing on this side of the lake, the best to look for is a west wind, is that right? A west wind is definitely the best wind for the ports on our side of the lake. When the wind's coming off the shore, the waves don't really have a chance to pick up yet. And yeah, be very careful, not just watching uh, how strong the wind's blowing, but what direction. Like today we had a south, southeast wind. So these waves are coming right in the gap. So we felt everything today about all the waves. On that two inch hyper hammer, look at that. This bait has three super unique features. The built-in glass rattle. It's a play off the Google Eye jig series that's been phenomenal for open water walleyes. Incorporating it now in a jigging minnow for ice fishing and open water. The brass slider, which is the hammer in the middle that slides back and forth, so you have a glass rattle and a hammer pin going back and forth making two different types of unique noises. And then the third feature, which is the most unique, is a soft tail that rotates up and down to give it two different types of actions. And again, you can change out that tail to a whole bunch of different colors. The top features for the fishermen are the large casting decks that we have on board of the boat. We also have the highest end electronics available to the fishermen that he would really appreciate, as well as the air ride seating, things like that, really make your day on the water comfortable. Tons of room for your graphs, large live wells, bait tanks. Everything is easily accessible. It's got a beautiful tow bar on the back, so if you want to go tubing or water skiing, the boat's got it all for you. John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Hey, thanks, Dion. Had a good time, buddy. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie. And I'm Blake Gillespie. Hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods.